Hello everyone, uh, we're just going to open a few packs here before we start. Hopefully, we get some useful cards. Place of Beth, there's some good cards there, but I think I've got all of them. Might be a legendary or an epic, this one we'll be looking um, for. Yeah, I just want to see oh, Golden Thumb, that's nice. Oh, we've got an epic here. Let's see what we get. Let's just cause. And it's Fate Weaver. Um, I think I've got quite a few of those already, and it's quite depressing. You never get the Rogue version or the Warrior version of the. if you've invoked two times. Okay, okay. nothing special there. Yeah, quite a mediocre pack of this. Yeah, always get in the last one. Finally, okay. Let's uh, let's go into here. Let's check. Wow, only three new cards. That's ridiculous. A lot of but that's interesting. They've got one of them. Oh, Fate Weaver. I don't have any. Fate Weaver, Arcane Breath. Let's dust this. Let's get one right there. Oh, right, so that's our second arcane breath. Um, I guess we don't play much uh, mage anyway. And was the other one? It was um, priest. Look. I've got three of this, okay. What was it? Oh, I think it was, oh, so we've only, well, that's interesting. So it's actually our first one. Yeah, so Calcron Priest might be uh, relevant at some point. So we've got 265 dust. Okay, so we, we were trying to make some sort of Calcron Warrior. That was the idea to. Right, so maybe we'll just craft these. Oh no, don't, don't want a don't want a golden one. There we go. So hundred for that and four hundred for this. Even though we didn't play much warrior, but I guess we can craft bits and pieces. Um, uh, got down to crowns and we've got a dragon hoof, two of those, two of those. That's all the Galakron cards, 12 cards, yep. Yeah. So now what do we put into this deck? Hmm, so do you want to have the self damage package? Oops. I don't understand how this works. No. Okay, um, I think that's a nice idea. Two men of one, uh, I think a couple of those, a couple of 
these. Okay, so we want those. We want these. What else would go with this deck? We want an aggressive deck. I mean, Overlord's Whip is an interesting idea. This, this one. Probably want Acolyte of Pain somewhere in here. Two mana, four, three. There. It's hard to. It was very easy to activate when we looked at it. Maybe one. One Acolyte? Do you want two Acolyte of Pains? Um, let's think. Let's get the rest of the. Let's get the rest of the package first. So I'm guessing we want some charge minions. This is meant to be a very aggressive deck. Slightly slower than the, the total face decks. So we do want a bit of. Control on boards here, but not too much. So we take a rerun. And we've got four mana, four, three to charge. Two of those, thank you. Um, what else can we put in here? I wonder, do we have the Inner Rage card? It's quite important for this deck, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so how many cards do we have? Oh, right, so that's, that's kind of our core. I've almost completed it. Okay, let's think. What else can we put in here? Uh, quite a couple of rush movements, so maybe. Any other way of drawing cards? We're not going to get that much armor. We could take armor smith, I suppose. Um. Anything scary, which is like big, but we can play. I guess this makes sense if we're going to throw a berserker in. Actually, let's take the first thing Berserker and see what they come up with. Okay, they've put in two armor smiths. That's interesting. Why armor smiths? Why do I need the armor? I guess it's a low cost card. I mean, the one three is always good. Maybe the sign of ruin if it's a dragon. Put a bit of dragon synergy in. I'm thinking of Dragon Breather. Choose from the dragon as a copy of it to your hand. Maybe we can get copies of 
I don't know the I've got an idea. Is there a way? This is a battle cry minion, so if I play. How many battle cry minions have I got? I've got Galakrons, I've got that. I've got another, ba another battle cry minion, okay. I've got a few battle cry minions, I'm thinking maybe put the. Forest of Ancient, then maybe. Let's, let's keep it as it is actually. So we've got Acolyte of Pain, Battle Rage for card draw, and of course we've got Galakrond as well for card, card draw. All right, we'll give this a try. We'll give this a try as it is. All right. Let's uh, let's play in not ranked. Let's play in casual. Okay, so it looks like I'm I'm not confident. I know how to play this type of deck. Because a lot of little unique interactions, especially well, for people who play Warrior, they're probably used to them, but the idea of when to damage yourself, how to set up the self-damage stuff. Oh well. Wow. Looks like we've got um Do we keep the Galakron cards? <coughs> I don't think so. If we had a one drop maybe. Okay, that's what we're looking for. It's interesting because so it's with the one, two. There's eight Galakron cards. That's it's 22 damage altogether, isn't it? Let's just play them carefully. We can always play the weapon next turn. Oh wow, it's very nice of him. Ah, that's clever. <laughs> that's actually quite good. Yeah, maybe I should pull the rip on this. That's really clever. I like that. Yes, I like that. That's a nice idea. Should we just charge in here? No, it's armor for them. Yeah, that's quite clever. Maybe Temple Berserker works well. That's really committing to the self damage. This is more of a Gangcon deck. Um, we could. But if I had Awaken, I wouldn't be so worried. Some armor, we've got this next game. Well, he just killed the other one, didn't he? That was a bit of a mistake. I'm not sure that was a correct way to do that. Let's play this just so we can get something on board, I guess. Mm. 
Is it worth putting a whirlwind type card in? Where you've got Awaken. I'm really feeling the lack of. Uh, oh, yes, it's been Galapagos. It's got the same deck as me. That's interesting. Right. Yeah, I've just got a bad version. Okay, that's a quite well taken. So the idea of this, I could play this 8, 16 damage I can get out in one turn if I play these three cards together. Which is interesting. Okay. Oh, let's just kill this up, I guess. Let's just kill it off. I think there's a lot of different cards you can actually put into this deck. A lot of self damage. I, I'm really not sure about the armor smith though. Armor smith just doesn't make sense in this deck. Let me find a couple of other areas. Like the, the, the wasp set seems much better. Okay. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just go aggro on him. So that stays alive. This trades. Once he plays another minion, he's destroyed my board. So unless he's got Awaken, that was definitely the move I had to play there. I can actually play this now. And I've got this as well. So it's looking quite good. And he's got an easy board clear with, with Awaken, yeah. How did he get unlucky? Yeah, how did he get unlucky? Oh, right. He will pull to master. Yeah, this is too defensive. It's not aggressive enough, I think. Let's play that in there. Let's see if he's got some for a board clear here. You don't use brawn in this type of deck. You want to be dominating the board with your minions, not playing from behind. That's interesting. You got another awaken. Oh dear. Oh, nasty. He plays them. Ooh, nasty. Okay, so I've got 4 plus 6, I've got 10 damage. I think just go face here. If he wants to stop me getting on, he's going to have to trade here. So if he wants to... That means he's going to trade both these in. Which I'm assuming he doesn't want to do. Ouch. This could be a big problem now. If he's got, got a shiny room, I'm in big, big trouble. Let's see. Uh, okay. Right, of course, because uh, the hero power gives me three damage to face each turn as well. So let's 
So he has to find out a way of getting rid of the 6-2 now. I'm showing more than lethal, even if he... No, if he gets rid of the Leroy, I don't have lethal anymore. He's just used both Awakens. Oh no, he's only used one. Ouch! That looks scary. Wow. Nasty. So I got six damage. Oh, here we go. This is nine damage. He doesn't have the health to kill that. Yeah, got to go for it. Or any, any Galakron card that I've got least. Um, how much damage can he generate with a Frosting Berserker? Yeah, I definitely want to take the Armour Smiths out, even though they have been a bit helpful. Give me a couple of armor, but. Wow. <clears throat> oh, wow. Wow. Oh, here we go. So we've got, we've got that at least. That's good. Um, five plays and he gets seven damage. I think I have to play for the win here. I'm top decking now. I don't think trading is going to help me, especially if I'm going to damage myself by doing so. I just have to hope I get something big. Oh dear. Okay, try to help. I hope for Galakron now. Yes, so close. I don't, think, I don't think I'm gonna make it, am I? Three damage. He's, he's showing 20 here. Yeah. I could take five away. That brings that to 50. So I'm gonna survive by one. This is very close. Oh my goodness. If he finds a way to destroy that bomb, he's won. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Well done. Yeah, I think there's yeah, something, something lacking about this deck. He's gone for much more of the self damage sort of stuff. I wonder what he's added. Sign of Ruin, Bomb Angler, Bloodsworn Mercenary. I can't see how much he's changed from my deck. He's put two Risky Skippers in. He does have the Inner Rage, maybe. But he's got the equivalent of Inner Rage. Alright, let's, let's see if we can maybe optimize that a bit better. <laughs> Underperforming cards, armor smith. I'm not interested in armor, I'm interested in damage. Battle Rage, I think, is important for card draw. So in order to get that card draw, I do need to have stuff on board. Maybe I put a town crier in just to help smooth things out. Not what I'm looking for really, but I'll put two of these in. Anything else which draws a card? I mean, this kind of makes sense. 
Mm. See that this card was pretty good. Three armor, get lucky. He did have a frothing berserker as well, didn't he? What could he have missed out there which made his deck better? Maybe only one blood sworn mercenary? Yeah, the best it can do is copy a 10 damage to the Ebro, maybe. Maybe take one of them out. It's more of a finishing card. Um, takes. Okay, so we could do this. We could put one frosting in. Um, should we put a slam in? We'll put a slam in. I do like the enrage because they do cost zero. We'll put another one of those in. I used to have like um, an armor warrior deck about a year or so ago and I found I had too much card draw. That's because I didn't got things like shield slam. Um what's it called? I can't remember what it's called now. Shield block. You get the armor and you also draw a card. Right, I'm assuming this is going to be more of a, an aggressive sort of deck here. Yes. Maybe Awaken. What are we looking for? So we've got the red down once for now, but then we don't have to activate him. So it's a bit annoying. Okay. So it's just six damage it's gonna die, so we just play this try getting two thingies out of it. So we do have an answer to this, we've got the, the devoted maniac coming up next. Okay, we can deal with this board, that's good. But he's getting quite low on health. So I think maybe go for the. Oh.
Okay. Okay. Let's put the new IC set up. It's got a shorty trade these in. Otherwise, I'm just going to wipe them out as soon as I play them in. Alternative deck for awakening one. So. I've got Galakron, so this is really good. So I really want to play Battle Rage next turn if I can. Got two things which have damage. That's the idea here. And that minimizes my battle rage, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> Hmm. I could go for Inner Rage, draw a couple of cards. I think that looks more optimal here. There we go. That's a nice card for that. Okay, so I'm looking to play Awaken next turn. So what he plays first. Okay. So I want to play this into that first, see what happens. Ooh. Hmm. We get double awaken here. I think this gives me the best odds. Oh, unless Bomb Wrangler. Wow, it's all come face. This is pretty good, but that's not what I want. Five. He's got two, three, four, five, six, eleven damage. He's gonna hit me face next turn anyway. Ugh. That was, that was pretty unlucky, I was hoping we'd put more than on here. <clears throat> Got another awakening to go there. Let's see how he plays this. Wow, I thought. So that means he doesn't have lethal, which is an excellent sign. I potentially got a lethal if I could trade that into there, kill that. Interesting. I think I need to get my armor from from the Galakron now. Usually could be somewhere. Okay. Leroy is lethal. Wow, what a finish. Just beat the hunter to it. That's nice. Hmm. I wonder if we could put that other card in the Frenzied Fell Wing. Does that make sense in this deck? I want to go face, look, it gets me a minion off a cheap. Still not convinced by the risky skipper, how good it is yet. 
All right, we'll have to think about this deck. Yeah, so again, there's some interesting games there. Enjoyed that. Um, got 52 wins only with Warrior. Wow. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, tell me what you think if you've seen any other variations of the Galakron Warrior, which you think is better. Uh, maybe you could swap out some cards. Much appreciated. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.